Vanuatu is in immediate need after Cyclone Pam tore through the country at the weekend, its president says. President Baldwin Lonsdale said the storm had wiped out all development of recent years and his country would have to rebuild everything. Aid has begun arriving in the storm-hit nation, one of the world's poorest, but contact has still not been made with some of its more remote islands. Aid agencies say it could be one of the worst disasters ever to hit the region. The official death toll stands at eight, but it is expected to rise. The BBC's John Don Eisen, in the capital Port Vila, says just about every house there has received some damage and the situation for many people is bleak. One village chief told our correspondent there was a desperate need for fresh water supplies. The Category 5 storm, with winds of up to 300 km per hour, 185 miles per hour, struck populated areas when it reached Vanuatu early on Saturday local time, plus 11 GMT. President Lonsdale, who was attending a disaster preparedness conference in Japan when the storm hit, has appealed for international help, telling AFP news agency, the humanitarian need is immediate, we need it right now. After all the development we have done for the last couple of years and this big cyclone came and just destroyed all the infrastructure the government has built. Completely destroyed. Earlier, Mr. Lonsdale had described the storm as a monster, and said he had not been able to confirm that his own family was safe. The president said climate change had contributed to the disaster, saying his country had seen changing weather patterns, rising seas, and heavier than average rain. UNICEF worker Alice Clements in Port Vila said all the power lines were down, and many staff of the capital's only hospital were unable to get into work. She told the BBC a major bridge connecting Port Vila to the eastern part of the island looked like it had a huge bite taken out of it. This isn't just some rickety bridge, it's made of concrete and steel, and now there's just steel girders sticking out. It really shows the sheer force of the storm. There is major concern about islands to the south, including Tana, which was in the direct path of the storm. The Australian Red Cross tweeted that it had heard of utter devastation there. Paolo Malatu, CEO coordinator for the National Disaster Management Office, told the Associated Press news agency that planes and helicopters had been sent to fly over the islands and assess the situation. Military planes carrying supplies have started arriving from Australia and New Zealand and other countries have pledged to help. Commercial flights were due to resume on Monday. In a statement on Sunday, Oxfam Australia said this was likely to be one of the worst disasters ever seen in the Pacific. World Vision said it had not been able to contact more than 30 of its staff. Pam had already caused major damage on other Pacific islands, including Kiribati and the Solomon Islands. Tuvalu declared a state of emergency after the cyclone caused flash floods there. It is now moving down the east coast of New Zealand. The storm has weakened significantly but about 100 people have been evacuated from coastal areas in Gisborne, on the east of the North Island. An alert is also in place in the Chatham Islands, about 680 kilometres southeast of Wellington.